I don't know if I should consider this to be bad or nefarious or just a big problem that'll weigh on me and haunt me in the future if I accept. But it's almost as if it's meant to be. The timing, it's a little eerie if I'm being honest. Maybe they see my videos on YouTube and have heard me talk about the financial hardships that we have, have or are experiencing. And uh, they reached out to me with the hopes of me promoting. They offered me an opportunity to promote their company. But it's mainly politically driven content. And I don't know if it's a good fit. I don't know if it's a good fit for everybody who's subscribed to this channel, but it would definitely provide some much needed financial relief and I think that it would, I mean, honestly, it would be their script that I would be reading and not my own words. So would it be so bad? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. We still got a little bit of chilly weather out here. I thought the groundhog saw a shadow or maybe he didn't see a shadow. I don't know which one it is, but I thought we were gonna be out, over this by now, but. I'm sitting here uh, contemplating, trying to make some choices and decisions on what to do next. Uh, I appreciate you guys stopping by yet again for another video. I appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel, giving the video a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it, it means a lot. I think it helps with the YouTube algorithm to get videos seen and more reach, but it just kind of varies, it depends. And thank you guys for being so helpful and so, so supportive and understanding. I really do appreciate you and uh, we love you guys. So this company, uh, I'm not at liberty to say, I haven't signed an NDA, but uh, it's just professional courtesy, okay? And I'm not, I know I'm not the only YouTuber or content creator that they are approaching right now, but this company would like to extend, and I believe it is legitimate, as some of these opportunities are not exactly always what they seem sometimes, and uh, I've even seen some people lose their channels because they got connected with the wrong brand. And it was just a scam to begin with. But, you know, when you promote a video on YouTube, you're supposed to check a box. And that box is to accurately represent to the viewers and disclose the transparency behind the content having some form of paid promotion affiliation tied to it. Now, with what they discuss briefly, and we didn't go into details, we haven't signed any contracts or anything like that, but with what they discuss briefly, it definitely seems like it would be controversial, perhaps maybe depending on who YouTube sends, decides to send my videos to that day. I never know who YouTube's gonna send my videos to. Like, it's always a surprise on who they send it to, who gets notifications, what type of response and feedback I get, who shows up in the comments, do I gain subscribers or not? YouTube is in control of that. But I do believe that this content would drive diversity for sure. And it would in essence be very polarizing, depending. And that could lead to some less, desire, less than desirable feedback in the comment section that you all know that we are actively trying to move away from. So. I wouldn't necessarily be super excited into inviting that in, but you know, you guys have voiced your uh, opinions and left comments on this morning's video. And you said, you know, you, Kevin, we appreciate you. Thank you. And do what you got to do. But I still have to, I have to agree with it. You know, I can't just, I can't just go after an opportunity only because it's, it's about money, you know? And uh, I think some folks think that money is evil. Uh, maybe, Maybe there is some truth to that, perhaps depending on how you acquire the money. But I don't think money in itself in general is evil. With that being said, I don't want to seem desperate for money. But this is, an, this is in fact a huge opportunity and these sponsorship offers, they don't happen all the time. So you don't know when you're gonna get another one and you don't necessarily wanna turn them down, but you also don't wanna take every single one that gets thrown your way. But who knows, maybe by incorporating this video integration in uh, just a couple times a month, you know, it wouldn't be in every video. 
so it wouldn't be like overdone and you guys get tired of hearing about it if i just did it like a couple times a month maybe the change the variation of the, the 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 differences in those videos could potentially allow youtube or trigger youtube and their algorithm and they'll start pushing out my channel more and giving my videos more visibility more impressions more opportunities a larger reach gaining more subscribers and growing the channel and helping to recover due to the lost ad revenue that we've experienced but i gotta tell you guys i'm torn about it i'm torn about it in general and I, you know i don't necessarily really want to have anybody having a say on my content or having to review my content before i publish it or anything like that but uh again this is a little bit of a rock and a hard place you know we got to make rent we got bills to pay we need to put food on the table we need to buy groceries and put food in the pantry and you know even you know having the ability to one day send our daughter to college you know uh we don't want to get evicted we don't want to be uh in uh arrears we don't want derogatory marks on our credit we don't want to face repossession or eviction or anything like that so yeah it's a challenge and i, I gotta tell you guys it's, you know granted it's sunday and tomorrow is a holiday but from what i'm seeing the headlines that i'm reading the job market is tough it's it's, it's toast recruiters are having a hard time finding opportunities to even place the talent so my likelihood and ability to land gainful employment in the immediate future, I'm just gonna be real, I'm gonna be a realist, I'm gonna be honest with you and myself, I would say that it's probably gonna take at least 30 to 45 days to find that and make that happen. So uh, this is in the immediate, this is right now, and this could be a life-changing uh, opportunity that could hold us over and get us back on track. But yeah, you know, these are the worst situations in life, really. These tough choices and decisions. Uh, never expected to receive this email today, but what do you think? What would you do? Uh, hey, yeah. Where do we go? After our summer went cold. Coming in hot, I was playing it slow. Letting our story unfold.